<laughs> I'm winning. All right, Caden's got camp today, so we're currently the going super early to school. It's like seven something. Hey. Yeah, anyway, Caden's on camp. Where is it? Moon tour. No, it's Port. Um, Port Hughes. Port Hughes. They're going for today's Wednesday. They come home Friday. And it's going to be freezing there. Yeah, so he's packed his Udi. Him and his friends are all packing their little Udis. Lay my keys out. Just shut the bloody roll. Um, oh, look at this tree. Oh. Um, Caden's off on his camp. He, the bus was running late, so I actually had to quickly rush home, get Jackson organized, get into school. Um, so I haven't vlogged anymore since this morning, but Jackson's at school. Eliza's whingy. I am tired as, but I want to get home and get some cleaning and whatnot done. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. But Jesse, update on Jesse. He's quite sore today. He took some Nurofen, so hopefully that kicks in for him soon. And he's experiencing a bit of swelling. So he's gonna go have a shower when, like, when I'm home, so in case he needs a hand with anything. Update. Yesterday I put that sleepy, sleepy time balm on <coughs> Eliza and Jackson. Um, I didn't think it helped at all, personally. I think it does work for some kids, not for others. It didn't work for my kids at all. So it, it actually made it harder for my kids to go to sleep. Eliza was a bit of a pain to get down. But once she was down, she sleeps. But like, like, once she was down, she slept the whole night. But she does that every night, so it's not anything new. Um, as for Jackson, it took him ages to go to sleep. Like, he was still awake when I got home from work, which is like, he was awake past nine o'clock, which isn't normal for him. Normally, he's asleep. Um, so, yeah, that sleepy bump didn't do shit. So, uh, I do not recommend, because it's very expensive for a tiny little tub. And if it's, if it's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to work... I know, I just didn't find it to be that great. What are they doing here? I don't know if Caden had it put on, because I, I had to leave before he was able to put it on, but... Yeah, I just didn't find it to be great, and I don't think it worked really well for Nicole either. She put it on... I don't know if she put it on both the girls, I know she put it on Ella last night, and Ella was up... Um, at... It was like 9 or something, because she was messaging me when I finished work, and it was 8. And then she was up again at 4 in the morning, so... I don't think... It's that great. I don't think it works really well. Who knows though. <sighs> I, I guess I could give it another try maybe and see how we go from there but I don't know how to see a point really. Considering my kids sleep alright, I don't really need something. I, was just, I mainly ordered it for Nicole because she was having a lot of trouble with the girls sleeping. I felt bad for her and I couldn't do anything for her. I did offer to um, you know, take the girls for a drive or something, um, see if that would get them to sleep but yeah, not very much else I can do. The sky isn't that cloudy and we just had thunder. I literally stopped recording like a second ago and then we had some thunder. The clouds are looking crazy too. package this is the bridesmaids dress peter was ordering her own so 
I've just got Nicole's here and then I ordered an extra one to make the boys on my side. make the boys on my side one so I've changed my colors a lot of times so we're stuck on this color now because I'm not changing it again so this color is called rust all right let's have a look see let me put you down a bit There's going to have to be some adjustments made for the booby area, as you can see. I'm wearing socks. <laughs> this is really nice. And I'm also going to have to make this. I'm going to have to pin that a bit. It's really pretty though. Blow me. You have a lunch, honey. Yummy. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Watch out for dad's balls. <laughs> She's too cute, mum. Look at her. Ah, he slept. It's just fake rocks. How was school? Oh, well? Good. I loved it. What did you make here? A glass head. That's pretty cool. Love it. All right, normally I would be saying I'm off, but I'm going to bring you along because I have some shit to tell you. So it's been a while since I've been on because I've been trying to work some shit out. So as you know, if you've been watching the vlogs, grandma has breast cancer and she's booked in for a mastectomy next week. Um, got a phone call from the surgeon today. So I'll quickly explain that beforehand. So with grandma's treatment, normally you would go through, where's my keys? Um, the public system, which is through public hospitals, and that's all covered by Medicare and well, not public systems and that. But it was a um, months-long waiting list for public, so her doctor referred her private. Private, you got in with two weeks. Public, you got in months. And with cancer, you don't like really need to fuck around with that. If you can get it early and start treatment as soon as possible, that is like the best bet type thing. So grandma, every time we've gone down because it's private, we've had, well we, she's had to pay for appointments and stuff. And some of the procedures she's had done and tests, she's had to pay for, not all of them, just a couple. So it's all been out of pocket, which she's happy to do because she wanted to get on top of it quickly because that's what she does. Like whenever she has anything wrong, she likes to get on top of it quickly. So we got a phone call from the surgeon today saying that grandma and grandma's private health doesn't cover anything really because what we're gathering is that they only signed up for extra cover, extras cover, which is like dental, um, glass and stuff like that, not like any medical things really. So it doesn't cover anything. And we don't know the price of the surgery. They said they're gonna call up tomorrow and give us a quote. 
Now that's only for the, well, um, I've been doing some research and just for the price of just the surgery, a mastectomy on its own, it says it varies between ten to thirteen thousand um, dollars. Then you've got the hospital stay, the follow-up visits, um, any medication, like any extras that will go on top of that, <coughs> as well as an, an I can't say the word an anesthesiologist, I think it is, an anesthetist, I don't know. Um, that is also private, so it is another separate cost. So I tried to call up the anesthetist, and they said they couldn't talk to me without grandma present because they're not allowed to discuss medical stuff and whatnot. And so I was at this final call tomorrow. So that's that. So we don't really know what's going on yet. We do have a little bit of wiggle room if we need to postpone the surgery for a little bit. Um, because when, well the pills that she's on are killing the cancer, but she still needs to have a mastectomy. But when we were booking in the surgery, the surgeon did say, you don't have to make a decision right now. You can wait a few months or whatever until you get your affairs in order. Um, so grandma just said, oh no, we'll do it straight away because she really thought that her private, um, public, what is it, private health insurance would have covered it and it doesn't. So this is like a warning. If you're a carer for someone or if you have grandparents or even parents, make sure you check on this shit because if I, I don't really know much about um, private health. We did have it for a little while, but they kept bumping it up quite high every few months and we didn't like that so we left um but they've been on that private health for years and we've been working it out and they've paid thousands of dollars and not used it so you want to really check on that with people that you care about just to make sure they're on the right cover for them um if i had known i would have actually found a cover for them that suits them because they're getting older now a lot of things are covered by medicare but with this obviously to get in really quick you need to go through private and if they had the right cover it might have been covered now as for it being covered there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get it covered through um private health now because it's the class as an exi existing condition and they won't do shit basically i think i'm going to make some phone calls tomorrow and find out but we're going she's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow and we needed some forms for her pre-admission work um so I'm gonna go in there with her and actually talk to him and be like, what's some other options just in case? Because yeah, we get the quote for the surgery tomorrow and then we can make all the decisions from there. Um, and once that's all fine and done, we'll figure out how to go from there. But um, I will talk to my auntie. She's like an accountant and she's like worked, not an accountant, is she an accountant? I don't know, she works at a bank and she knows, she's just really good with information. So. I'm gonna try and get them to email me a copy of Grandma and Granddad's current thing that's in place. Send it to my auntie, see what she thinks about it, and then get her to help me um, pick a new cover for them that will work for them, that will have some actual coverage that they need. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's freaking been so stressful and crazy but we'll like i'm not overly stressed because i know we'll get it sorted one way or another we'll figure something out but yeah it's just nuts that they've been they've spent thousands on this cover and it hasn't really covered shit because when it comes to their glasses and stuff i'm pretty sure that's all covered through medicare so they don't need private health for that stuff um so yeah that's what's been going on um so i guess i won't know more until tomorrow when i make all the phone calls so i've got Mima is coming over tomorrow morning to watch Eliza and keep an eye on Jesse for me while I go out and do all this shit because I'll be out all morning. I do need to go pick up my grocery shopping in the morning as well. Um, but wish me luck and go and check on your people and see if they're on the right stuff and just like check everything man like help them out because sometimes they need it. Anyway I'm at work now so I'm going to go and work for three hours and then go home and sleep hopefully we'll see.